Welcome back. It's the U45 morning show, and uh, we're looking at the implications of the two-week extension, talking about the lockdown, the implications, how it affects you, what is likely to happen, how we are going to handle the matters that will arise. And uh, we have our guest here in the studio, Nana Otu. So we encourage you to call. Call and tell us what your experience is like, what you've gone through. We hear there are riots or street uh, attacks uh, in some areas of Lagos. We hear um, uh, they, are, they were burning tires last night and so on and so forth. We hear of attacks of people and uh, even break-ins, you know, into houses and buildings. We want to hear what your experience is like and um, your general view about the extension, about the extension. Yeah, okay, so yesterday um, the pres uh, in the presidential broadcast, uh, the president said we must not lose gains achieved thus far. We must not allow a rapid increase in community transmission. We must endure a little longer. So I want you to, to tell us how do we actually endure a little longer for the next two weeks um, that has been stipulated for the lockdown to continue. How do Nigerians endure a little longer? We find ourselves in a very big dilemma. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a very difficult situation. People have reached the wit's end. We've just reached the, the end of the road. I'm telling you in the last two weeks. The, uh, some of us were looking out for you know, an end to the lockdown, an end to, uh, to the caging, you know, but it didn't come. And, and uh, appropriately so, it shouldn't. It shouldn't have been you know, the, the alternative. Because the, uh, the alternative to lock a lockdown, it's, uh, it should, should be unimaginable. If you, look at, if, you, if you look at the body counts coming out of uh, the US, the, uh, the UK, and all of that, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's alarming. It's something we just don't contemplate over here. So way forward, stay behind. Stay behind closed doors. Lockdown continues. It is going to be exceedingly difficult going forward. You know, from today, it's going to be exceedingly difficult. We are already seeing some form of implosion, some form of, uh, you know, reactions out of it. Um, and, and like he mentioned about uh, robberies, broad daylight robberies, and, and, and so on. It's going to increase because a whole lot are now getting into the loop of having absolutely nothing for the day. And uh, at that level, it becomes so very, very delicate. Truth of the matter is that we are not, we don't have an option outside this option. It's a zero option situation. We just have to, we just have to uh, follow through okay, the lockdown. So again, um, in as much as necessity demands that we actually stay locked down in our houses to help curb the spread of this coronavirus. Okay, so we heard that the federal government have uh, given out the relief materials or given it out to the state government to take charge with the distribution. What do you think you want to tell government or how, what should they do in this trying time for Nigerians? Okay, we should stay home, very important. We have to stay home, okay, to help. Okay, so what do government do at this point to at least relieve the tension that is already existing? The palliative, especially the, the aspect that has to do from the much coming from the, from the federal government, uh, has some little funny part of it, has some little funny bits and pieces of it. Remember, uh, not long ago, the federal, uh, uh, the, the uh, customs director general, uh, I, I wouldn't know uh, his real title, I I can't, uh, but mm. he said that see, foreign rights seized were, were uh, poisonous, so to speak, that they were not good for consumption because some of them had been on shelf over uh, 10, 5 years before okay. they were shipped okay. and, and so on. So they, uh, uh, they were seized and they were, not, uh, they were considered then as not good for consumption. Suddenly, uh, that is the, the fallback we now have, the fallback position the federal government has now, uh, has now taken up and is being distributed to states. Okay. I think we need a whole lot more than just that. 
we heard of uh, grain, uh, you know, uh, grain release. Reserve, yes. Yeah, that they are releasing some uh, grains from the from uh, from uh, our reserve, our national reserve. We think that should also come as quickly as possible. People are really hungry, you know, and uh, it's it's at times like this that government should actually take leadership. They should actually relate with with the people. Uh, uh, that that empathy should be there, being Maybe. part of them, you know, feeling their pains. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to score the Lagos State government, you know, the way they handled the distribution. Uh, we know individuals, companies, you know, even us as assisted, they, they give what they can. We are talking of the government's package, the handling. If you had to score them over 10, what would your mark be? Okay, I'm not very good at handling objective questions, yes or no, true or false, but, <laughs> uh, but I, 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 I present my scores. I will actually score them very sincerely. Mm. Lagos uh, has surprised me. Lagos State really has surprised me the way they, had, uh, they have handled everything about this coronavirus, uh, uh, COVID-19, from mm. onset to end. Uh, I, I was amazed at, at, the, at, at the response, both in terms of facilities, and, uh, and really, the uh, almost daily update by the governor. Okay. I see him up and about mm -hmm. on, on, on the matter. And I feel, I feel, I just, I, I don't know, I, I developed some personal love for the way he has been going about all of this. Okay. But he, he, he is handicapped. Handicapped in the sense that Lagos State is looking at 200,000 200, families mm -hmm. in a state of uh, uh, circa 20 million persons. Mm. And so it's like dropping a cube of sugar in, okay. in, in, a, in, in a tank of water. I mean, it doesn't really, or, uh, it do, it doesn't really add up. Mm. And that is why you see people go to places like Agege or so. You see people not actually following the, uh, the lockdown as it should be. Yeah. Uh, because it's like, you tell somebody to, uh, uh, to you're talking about lockdown, it's like um, speaking Spanish to, to mm. a, a Chinese, he just wouldn't understand what you're saying. You, help is not coming anywhere and he want, and you want him to be indoors. Mm. So, Lagos State has tried, there is, uh, I think they have about three layers. There is one, uh, uh, some aspect of uh, the palliatives, they, they, are, they are looking at the aged people, you know, mm. people from 60 and above, mm. and they call up people, they call you up and say, um, uh, you know, are you there? How do, we get, uh, how do we get to you? And so on and so forth. Just yesterday, my wife even told me that she got a, a message and that she gave them my number and that I should expect a call from them. Okay. And so. okay. Let's take this call from Joseph. Okay. Hello, Joseph. Before, before this lockdown, what will I do? Hello, Joseph. So, thank you, sir. Well, uh, we, 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 we didn't, not, we didn't hear you. We didn't hear what you said. Okay, sir. Since, since I'm a driver to a private company. Okay. So, now, before the lockdown, they, they, they need to before the lockdown. Now. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. Now, 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 up to, up to, this is the most three weeks now, this is plus now, and my, my house is empty now, nothing, nothing for me. I'm inside, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm now. What will I do? Yeah. That's, uh, uh, that's the same question. Thank so, you, what will I do? I'm, I'm not cobbled. I'm not in my house to eat now. Mm. And you what will I do, sir? You, you, you were not among those who received some packages from the government. Nothing came to you at all? No, nothing, nothing. No, you know, if you recall, see, see the collective now it was shared by APC, APC people only. Okay, you saw them sharing something? Yes, only APC members are sharing this too. Not another, not other people. Oh. Uh, Joseph, are you saying that you went near where they were sharing and they asked you to go away because you're not a party member? Yes, I went there and said, I'm not an APC member. That's shocking. That's shocking. Uh, which area is that? Agidimbi? 
Okay. No, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I Oh, Agege. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Well, sorry about that, uh, Joseph. That's what we're talking about. We know people are suffering. People are hard-pressed. And uh, that's why we're discussing it and asking people to uh, speak up and speak out so that the government will hear and probably do something now that we'll have another two weeks. Uh, that's why we're encouraging this call. Thank you very much, Joseph. Thank you. Okay, sir. All right. So please speak up. We want the government to hear, uh, have a feeling of what people are going through. Maybe in this second uh, extension, something, uh, something different will be done and done better. Uh, he's a driver, he's not been paid. So the it's hunger has come in. In my streets, in my area yesterday, the, the, the people, I don't know what was happening, but all the gates were locked, all the gates to the streets were locked, and tires were, being, were set on fire right from uh, the one bus stop to the council area. And I hear that some boys were disturbed. I'm sure you, you, you heard about that. Yes. Hmm. Yes. I mean, Joseph's situation is so pathetic. Do, do, do you know what? I, 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 I worry about what he said. The, the aspect that has to do with politicizing uh, the situation, it's, uh, it's, 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 so, it's so unfortunate. We hmm. are all in this. I mean, there is no, uh, there is no distinction between APP, PDP, APP, whatever in all of this. Uh, and in emergency situations like this, we should wear our human face. We should become Nigerians. Okay, we have, yeah. have Samuel calling from Bariga. Good morning, Samuel. Okay. Yeah, my contribution is uh, that this uh, extension has caused a lot of charity. So I know it's not going to be easy. The sacrifice that they must pay. For everybody to stay, you know, to stay safe and make sure that this does not spread. So I think what, what I would say is government is not the other type of security situation. Because as it starts now with the percent or local percent, now all government, even the rich men are going to say, this is not safe. But the kind of fact we are going to experience and next week is not happening. So my contribution is. Because people to step up their game because we are in for jobs. We have to be realistic with what we're doing. Because government has been trying, but to me, it's not something to say about. People are hungry, people are dying. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Samuel. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. So, please, uh, I will appeal to the government of Lagos State um, that let's get back to humanity. Let's, let's, let's get back to the basis of why we are humans. Uh, let's throw away for now, uh, let's, let's put aside the political aspect of our being humans. We know that uh, we are all political animals, but for now, no. Mm. It's painful. It's on, I, 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 I worry about that. Ordinarily, if I get back to, to your scoring sheet, to me, Lagos State, Lagos State has, has crossed in, in, a scale of, in a scale of 10. They are somewhere above six. By my, uh, okay. by my estimation. Okay. That's so, a pass mark. No doubt that the Lagos <laughs> State government is really doing well, but we think the angle that should be looked at critically is the angle of making sure that you're distributing and monitoring the distribution to make sure that... Okay, good morning. Good morning. Welcome, Hope. Good morning. Good morning yes, Hope. welcome. Give us some hope. Hello, good morning. Good you're morning, welcome. Hope. This extension is not really helping matter at all. People are really suffering in Bariga. Imagine you go to ATM for now, you see some boys harassing and begging for money. That's another issue. Did that happen? You will to go out, you see the little food that they, before they eat, they have to sell. And you don't have relief material in Bariga. It's really asking us. It's really, they are not helping matter at all. I don't know what to do. So go out in the evening, we are on issue. People are fighting in Bariga. Yes, they were only at us because of people that were arising us up there. It's not happening now. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Oh, dear. Thank you very much, I Hope. Please uh, be careful as you go around. That's another development. Yeah, you see, it is not just... Uh, you see, uh, initially, we were thinking where uh, the issues are coming around uh, Agege area, mm -hmm. Agege, Okoba, you know, uh, up until you get to Abuleba. Uh, but we see pockets of it here and there. Barega, 
I am, uh, tomorrow you, you, you may be hearing of Ajangbadi. Yes. And so on. And I heard so of what happened at Yanipaja yesterday. Yanipaja and so on. So there is a, it's a pointer to something that we are, we are, we are sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Mm. And this thing could, uh, it could, it could explode any moment. It could explode. And the only, the only way forward, the only way, we, uh, the only way out of detonating is a government up, uh, takes complete charge, state government in particular, takes complete charge of the situation. If there is a way, uh, the uh, distribution of palliatives could be a, lot, a, a little more streamlined, so that it gets to, it gets to all nooks and crannies. Yes. That, that will help out. It's desperation. What we are seeing now is pure desperation. You, uh, you, you go to uh, ATL, people are hanging around. I was trying to pack out there. I had to. I, I, I had to start screaming. What will uh, uh, an army of able-bodied men doing out there? They, they, they swooped on me. Don't pack there. Well, I said, Come, "What is it? This is where I'm going to." Uh, they said, "Okay, I'll find out something." I said, "But hold on, watch." So it's all over. It's all. It's, it's, it's just terrible. Let's look at some figures. Before uh, the, the first um, uh, lockdown, we were told that the government was tracking about 3,000 likely cases. That's contact cases yeah. now. People mm -hmm. Now, as of today, we are talking about 323, right? 343. So if truly we are looking for 3,000 and we're just at 343, nationwide we still have a long way yeah um look at it from this perspective the, the government uh, uh, government they uh, okay okay uh, 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 they are tracking about three thousand persons mm. who had had contact with yes people, with people yes you know cases. yeah yeah they had had contact with people mm. who are uh, uh, who have been confirmed to, to, uh, to, to have COVID -19. this uh, mm. what what it means is that those uh, those three thousand that we are we are still looking for, mm. you know, might be carriers. But the beauty of it, the beauty of it is that it doesn't show on the face, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so you wouldn't know who has it. Okay, and that is why we are suddenly seeing, uh, you know, uh, escalation in numbers, not from people who came from outside. Mm -hmm. You know, not some people within. just arriving, mm. but community spread, you know, yeah, just within. Yeah. Those, uh, yeah, but my, but my point is that those 3,000, they're supposed to be within, not outside. They are within, yes. Uh -huh. So, and if we are just at 343, yes. with four week extension, mm. so how many weeks do we need to get to that 3,000? No, the answer is very straightforward. The answer really is, is there on testing. How many persons have we tested? Okay. I'm telling that as of today, just mm -hmm. about five, a little above 5,000 persons have been tested. Okay. And you test 5,000 and you are having, uh, you are having 300 and something. Okay. You know, out of a population of 200 million, give okay. or take. And so, if we had tested more persons, mm -hmm. obviously, we would have been looking for facilities to, uh, to, to house uh, 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 people, uh, you know, uh, uh, that, that turn out positive. Okay. You know, so the, the whole thing has to do with our ability to test. To test. Uh, the, the, the president yesterday mm. did allude to that, uh, that uh, this is where we began in terms of facility for testing. This is where we are now. We now have a capacity of testing up to 1,500 daily. A day. Mm. You know, so with that, we hope a, little, uh, a lot more persons will be tested. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, our time is up. We want to thank you for the company. We must not give up hope. We've been asked to stay indoors so that we can check the spread of COVID-19. Um, a lot will be revealed. More will be said about COVID-19. As of yesterday, I know that China has placed a ban on researches into the origin of COVID-19. And uh, Americans are questioning, why are you stopping people from saying more about COVID-19? There's more to be said. But meanwhile, let's stay safe and let's be healthy. Mr. Utu, thank you for coming. The pleasure is mine. Thank you.
Thank you. We must go now, but want to thank or celebrate with those who are celebrating today. Today is the 14th day, and we know today could be your birthday, your anniversary, and so on. So we're wishing you happy celebration. Sandra, we have an in-house celebrant. Yes, so Mr. Michael Simeke, happy yes. birthday to our finest reporter in Super Screen Television. Happy Great. birthday. Mr. Mike, I wish Good. you the best. Unfortunately, we cannot hold the parties mm. because we don't want to pay fines. Okay? <laughs> but have a wonderful day, Mike. And uh, to those of you celebrating outside the studio here, have a wonderful celebration. Remember that 14 is the age of discretion. In legal terms, a subject is deemed capable of using discretion at this age. So watch your 14-year-old child and let him or her grow up properly. Button up the face with some smiles, and if you see someone without any, give him one of yours. Bye-bye now.